It is definitely the roadmap out for 2026 and people are already warming for the next election. But that, before even we get that far, the question we should be asking, those who won the last one, what have they been doing? We are already half term and Kanar Mugume is exactly on that subject. And he is putting the questions to the leader of government business, the Right Honourable Prime Minister Robina Nabanja. Kanari, uh, the Right Honourable uh, Nabanja, the Prime Minister is with you and the question that uh, many are asking is, what has been achieved so far, half time? And some have even called her bulldozer, or if you may, Majegere. Thank you very much, Samson. Indeed, uh, some have called her bulldozer. She's the leader of the government business and also Uganda's prime minister. Uh, Honorable, many thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you so much. Uh, we, we want to understand uh, the electoral term for these five years. We're now halfway. You preached a lot of service delivery messages. Yes. What have you done? What have you achieved so far as NRM in this uh, midway term? Thank you so much. I want to thank you for inviting me for this interview. And also thank the viewers. Uh, fellow viewers, you will realize that the NRM government uh, came up with a manifesto. Mm. And the manifesto theme for that year that is 2021 to 2026, is uh, uh, securing your future as Ugandans. What does that mean? That uh, the NRM government has come up with strategies of creating jobs. You know, that's why you see us industrializing this country. We cannot uh, say we are going to develop this country without people having jobs or what, having what to do. You have seen a number of skilling centers. We now have 18 skilling centers across the country so that people can know what to do for themselves and fend for themselves. And uh, in that way, we shall have created jobs. You have seen us increase in, in power production. We have added down a number of dams, that is Karuma, is almost 90% uh, complete, or 99% complete. If it were not for uh, these people who, uh, you know, attacked our pylons and they removed, uh, you know, they stole our, our pylons, that line would be already connecting and evacuating the power from Karuma Dam. Then uh, Isimba Dam, remember? and many other dams that are on course. We are almost 20, we, by June this year, we were 22%, the projects that had started were 22% complete, and 70 other projects were on course. And I believe by now, since June to today, uh, we may have added more and I will give you that. Yeah, I, I hear you. Can, can we briefly talk about parish development? Yes, project, that's what I wanted to which go. Which is your yes. um, flagship project. Yes. What is the success so far? <laughs> uh, parish development model is our flagship program that is aimed at uh, um, helping our people who are trapped in poverty. The 39%, remember, which the president has been talking about, the 39% of our people who are trapped in poverty, we want them to do something to be productive. Those, the people, the president talks about, the Kukole Rakida Chonka. And we want them to be productive, have enterprises with what the president say, Echibaro, with uh, calculation, depending on which land acreage one has. So PDM is on course. And I can say it is uh, a success story now. Government has been able to give 100 million per parish, per circle. So far, all the circles across the country have got 100, 100 million and more. Because since when we started this now a year, remember, a year and some few months, the president launched this, pro this program in 2022, remember Feb 2022, in a district called Chibuku. And the number of things, 
the farmers, all the beneficiaries have started accessing money. I can tell you the project or the program of PDM is a success story as I speak. We yeah. also have a Nyoga and many others. L let's talk about disaster. And that, that also mm. is geared towards creating jobs for our people. Let's talk about disaster preparedness. Uh, I know some people who live around these mountainous areas uh, face issues year in and year out. Mm. What have you done so far? Because your message has been relocation. Some people have been hesitant in relocating. Mm. What have you done in that regard? Uh, fellow countrymen and women, the mountainous areas have had a number of uh, disaster issues. Say, for example, Mount Ercon, you know the number of people we have lost in that area. And so, government came up with a disaster prepared plan, policy. We have a policy in place. And that policy uh, is being implemented in a phased manner. So we have started with Mount Ergon. We partnered with an NGO called Give Directly. It's an NGO that came from America. And Give Directly has uh, already dispatched some funds, 7 million per person. Remember I talked about this program when I was at NBS some time back. And government is giving, is going to give 10 million per person, not 17 million, so that those people who are in prone areas, and we are targeting 4,000 families, plus uh, 1,700 in other areas, say like um, in Sebei sub-region. Now, so far, government has been able to give the office of the Prime Minister 10, 10 billion out of the 57 billion. That was last financial year. So we have that money, and we are going to start implementing this okay. in a first manner. Okay. Secondly, remember we had the disasters of floods in 2020, 2021, 2022. We, the office of the Prime Minister has been able to, you know, one, uh, give relief items to the people, to the affected people. Then two, we have been able to reconstruct, to construct new structures or new schools. For example, Money Primary School is in Nakasongola. Guampanga Health Center 3 is in Nakasongola. It has been fully constructed and now we are equipping it. Okay. We have uh, a health center in Amrata, another health center in Bulisa, another one is in Intoroko, and Kasese, we are upgrading Rukochi, health center 4, to a hospital. And we have also bought land under the office of the Prime Minister in, in Kayunga. We have 200 acres we have bought for those people who got affected by floods. And we have also reconstructed infrastructure in those areas. We have also land in Ikasese, you know, River Namwamba that has been always flooding and destroying uh, our, our, our people's uh, property. And so the office of the Prime Minister has been able to do all that. Okay. In this uh, we are out of time. We will do things and we will continue to track the pledges and promises of the NRM government. Yes. Well, Samson and Sheila, that is the conversation that uh, is coming from uh, this side uh, with the, the Prime Minister. We continue to see whether some of the things that were promised during the campaigns in 2021 will be, of course, achieved as we run towards 2026. Back to you at the Political Command Centre. Thank you very much, uh, Canary. People have gotten married, others have grown grey hair. There are quite a number of achievements uh, in this particular term. Uh, Canary Mungume there with the Right Honourable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda. That story.